Alright, so... For crafting the toxic rain gear, basically... The bow is the first big thing, it's the biggest upgrade you can start with and it's the most reasonable. You need the base, that's the hard part, and then divines and X. So, we start with... I guess I'll whip out the craft of exile here. You want to start with a hunter thicket. Now you can influence swap with harvest and the T6, uh, the uh, guardian bosses tend to drop a lot of bases. So you can just hunter swap. Then you alt roll till attack speed. So you can just spam alt till you get attack speed. Then you want T1 here. Uh, if you want, if you don't want to divine it later, technically you should keep spamming until you get you know high tier. But yeah, then you regal and a null, and you just keep going until eventually. You have a, a rare thicket with just attack speed. Now, from here the bow is done. Oh, you've won. So big. Right, you've won. All you need to do now this is where it gets expensive. You do multi mod, cannot all attack mods. 169. Now, because there's only two prefixes that you can actually exalt, you're guaranteed to hit plus one and chaos damage over time. Boom. Boom. Now, obviously, you can see here I got a bit unlucky with the tier. You kind of screwed at that point. But oh! obviously, you know, if you get lucky, you know, you get like tier three, tier one, right? That's what I got. After that, you got to remove the craft and re multi mod it with socketed gems from Katarina. And care damage over time, and then you're oh, done. It's so big! Right, so the, the bow is actually one of the easier things to craft because it is so deterministic. Um, worth pointing out, you are gonna need empower though. So that's the bow. For the quiver, uh, we ended up with some interesting tech here, but obviously, you're probably gonna want to start with something basic. Now, you don't need a hunter quiver, but it's a lot easier, and you have the chance to make the GG quiver if you do. Um, so you want to start with, a, again, a Hunter Influence Quiver. You just do Chaos Reforge and Harvest. There's only a small amount of Chaos mods, because if you look at the modifiers for any item, the modifier tags, uh, Chaos is one of the rare ones. Like, for example, without Hunter Influence, you can only roll Chaos Res and Chaos Damage. With the Hunter Influence, there's a few more, but you can still see that we're consistently hitting Chaos Damage over time multi. Yeah? This actually works as a base. What you could do is annul the stun recovery, so make it so it's have, it has an open suffix, and then you're good to go from there. So ideally you would be going for like high res with dot multi, attack speed with dot multi. Like this could work, right? This could work. And then we just annul off the crit. Um, ideally you would want to keep doing this until you get damage over time. In fact, I'll just show you. Let's pre let's pretend, obviously, instead of fire res, you're going for the the massive, the, the the really good one. Then what you do from here is you actually do cannot roll attack mods, but obviously I'm going to assume you're going to have prefixes. So you would want to do suffixes cannot be changed first and then scour to clean it. But once, the, once you've got the two stats that you want, you do cannot roll attack mods again, and you're abusing a similar process to the bow. Now, there's only four stats you can hit, two of which are basically guaranteed. The last one's RNG, and that's life, damage with bows, movement speed, and pierce. Pierce doesn't do anything, so you're gonna hit life, movement speed, well, yeah, and then damage with bows. Now, you can just use that as is, but obviously, um, you can just repeat as necessary until you get a high tier. So yeah, you could, you could either scour it with suffixes cannot be changed, or... You can uh, just keep the cannot all attack mods and null, and just recraft cannot attack mods until you uh, remove the dead mod that you don't want. And again, remember, like T eight life is terrible, right? So boom. If you annul the meta mod, just recraft it back on. Getting wow, that's I mean, just keep going until you get a decent life roll, damage with bows, and movement speed. Boom. Remove the cannot all attack mods. Craft attack speed. And that, my friends, is a nice quiver. That is a nice quiver. Obviously, this is the, this is the hardest part, rolling the damage over time. Again, this can be fire res, cold res, you know, just a good suffix. But this is the GG one. Now for the amulet, also advanced tech here. This is all going to be pretty expensive. <laughs> Obviously, we're talking about super endgame gear here. Because you can deterministically add on the Chaos Gem mod, you can actually guarantee it 
and just focus on crafting good suffixes. Um, as you can see, chaos is the only prefix. And so if you do suffixes cannot be changed, you can guarantee this with Harvest Reforge. And so what you're gonna wanna do here, start with a negate, not influence, right? You're just gonna wanna um, basically spam, you know, chaos until you get damage over time, multiplier with two good suffixes. But let's just say you started, you had this as your base, yeah? You do, uh, suffixes cannot be changed. Harvest Reforge Chaos. Guaranteed. And then either craft life and call it a day, or you could risk it and do suffixes can be changed again. And Ashling Slam. Obviously that removed it, so rip. But yeah, th th you could use this to then craft on the life roll by blocking mana. Now, if you block mana, there's only a few outcomes you can get. So you, yeah, at this point, you would just be praying that you get the life roll. We didn't get the life roll. We got the proj, or we got the proj damage roll though, so that's good. And then you just craft life and you call that a day. But obviously, if you do get the life roll, you can craft whatever prefix you want. Boom. So that's the amulet. Rings are also very similar to the amulet, minus the plus one chaos. So if you look at the ring here, actually, this is a good example. Um, so. Once you have a ring with three good suffixes, and, and again, this is just going to be a matter of chaosing or using harvest reforges, or just uh, you could just pick up a ring with three good suffixes. Um, so this was just a harvest benchcraft, or maybe even a chaos orb. But once you have the suffixes, you're just going to do that same process with suffixes going to be changed, and then veiled chaos, and then. Reef, uh, and then you're gonna unveil the life roll by blocking mana. I think it's something like a 93% chance to unveil life here. I actually failed this twice in a row. Um, it's, uh, you know, it can happen, right? It's possible. But it's very, very easy uh, if you don't get that like 7% chance to get screwed. And then lastly, the booties. Uh, and again, it's a very similar process. So I was going to go for ailment immunity using Grand Spectrum, avoid ailments with the Frenzy Endurance Charge Grand Spectrums, combined with the Boot Implicit, Tier 5 uh, Exquisite Roll, which you can just Orb of Conflict up, with the Deafening Suffix from Loathing Essence. Just pretend, obviously, I, I, I annulled it, right, with the Eldritch Annul. I'll do that same process with Suffixes Cannot Be Changed, Veiled Chaos, and then I'm ideally hoping to hit Onslaught here. Doesn't have to be Onslaught, because I use an Onslaught Flask for now, but endgame I am planning to swap out of that. So again, you'd, you'd block like life or something like that, and then unveil, ideally, Onslaught. Then you can just craft life and call it a day pretty much. So, that's how I'm gonna end up crafting my bow, quiver, boots, rings, and amulet. Rest is very generic, like diadem, um, you know, just life, res, chest, you know, very, very generic, so I'm not going to go over that, but yeah. Um, so overall, uh, the Toxic Rain Pathfinder, thanks to the very deterministic gear, expensive, but you do have access to Divines and Exalts from the Sanctum, highly recommend it if you can. Uh, but it's actually been a really good deterministic leg starter. I genuinely believe that even if I die, I can re-roll and craft all the gear deterministically. So I'm actually not too worried about losing any of the gear. So I um, hope you're enjoying Sanctum and uh, yeah, GG. Is that your outro? Just GG? Yeah, GG. Try to stall less than I do. <laughs> you man here with another crafting game for Sanctum Hardcore League. Talk like old Quinn. Right, Quinn, boys! So if you have the Fractured Base, which would be damage over time, what you can actually do, right, with this base, is Alt Roll until you land plus one gems, right? So it's gonna take a million times, it's gonna take a billion Alt... I almost thought I hit it then. But yeah, it's gonna take like a billion Alts to do it. And after that, you can imprint it, Regal and Annul until it's clean, right? You can't imprint Fractured, by the way. How did, how did, um... We have to, we have to start this over again. We have to start this over again. You start by Fracturing dot multi, alt plus one, and then easy peasy. He just said it's easy peasy! He just said it was easy peasy.
Okay, well, hang on. Okay, let's 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 go again, right? So if you're looking to craft the GG amulet, you need a fractured dot multi base. From here, you would need to un uh, what do you call it? You would need to all until you get skill gems. Now this is gonna take a ton of currency to do. Now if you hit a suffix, you're fine on the regal because you can just do prefixes cannot be changed in the scour because the dot multi is fractured. If you hit a prefix, you're just gonna have to yolo a null. Um, I don't believe you can imprint fractured items, so this is just a gamba. From there, you can do multi mod, block the suffix with prefixes cannot be changed. The reason you do this is just so that when you veil, it's guaranteed to add a veiled prefix. Okay, I fucked up. It doesn't work that way. Because it removes the fucking thing. Do you have to Ashling? But if you Ashling, can't it... Wait, hang on. I right, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Once you've annulled it down to skill gems dot multi, it's all deterministic from here. You do multi mod, suffix, prefix, and then veiled chaos. The only thing that can happen here is it can only add a veiled prefix. There's nothing else that can happen. Then you remove the cross and block mana. You're hoping to unveil life here. I think it's like a really high chance, something like 80%. Yeah, 80% chance. Then you do, uh, hmm. Okay, pause champ. Pause champ. Pause champ. Multi mod sub prefixes cannot be changed or chaos. This is not that easy. This is not as easy. Calm said easy peasy. This is not that easy. Okay, this is not even that easy. Holy shit. Isn't this gonna cost like fucking like a hundred? I didn't say it's cheap. I don't think this should be part of the video. <laughs> Holy shit. This is gonna cost a fortune. I take it back. Yo, Toad just edited it out of the video. <laughs>